guys, Scott Barnes here. Got another video for you. Um, today, uh, or probably about a month ago, I was uh, just thinking about uh, uh, the next coming months. It's uh, today, right now. It's um, uh, early September, and uh, November's coming up. And I was thinking, like, hey, mustache November. You know, that's a big, uh, a big fad. You know, and in doing so, um, you know, I was looking through uh, YouTube channels and just like how to grow the beard out, just being a nerd, and um, I came across. Uh, uh, this guy Johnny uh, aka the beard baron and uh, he was giving me some good tips and just like You know things to like go through and what to think about about growing out the beard and as you guys can see You know I'm going through you know When I shave like every you know my everyday look I, I kind of do the lines a little bit on my chin and kind of kind of keep it clean under here But as you guys can see I'm growing this part out and I'm, I'm trying to grow everything out now and I was doing it in phases because with my work um, I didn't want to just like go all crazy because um, a good reference point is is that you know you can grow it out but you can grow it out in style you don't have to go like full scruff McGruff as you guys can see like I'm gonna start uh, not shaving this part up too much anymore I'm gonna kind of do some lines down some some more natural lines I got a couple patchy spots right here that I'm just worried about but we'll see how it turns out my first thing is uh, the mustache super tough for you guys like that are I'm never, I've never grown out my mustache before. Awkward, because I have blonde hair, and with guys with black hair or darker hair, it, they can get away with it a little easier, because the blonde hair guy kind of look like the uh, kindergartner perv, you know, that's kind of like chicken up the kids, like, hey, hey, and I don't like it. So every time I'm talking to someone, I'm just doing the whole, like, yeah, that, that's right. Okay. <laughs> so, so, um, that's super something uh, uh, that I've, been trying to get you used to because I want that over the double lip look that's what I'm going for I'm trying to get that at least a good four inches uh, of beard and uh, just see how it looks I really like that classic style I've got the blonde hair I've never seen it kind of done before in that style so I'm gonna go with it and I hope this helped you helped you guys out because I am going through an awkward stage you guys are gonna go through awkward stages uh, that's something that I've known and um, uh, what I've been told about uh, there's gonna be awkward stages and I'm in my awkward stage, uh, so hopefully this helps you guys out. Month one, all right, let's see what month two looks like. Here we go. Oh, hey, and there we go. A month goes by that fast, woo. So uh, this is month uh, three for me. Uh, the uh, Just right now before was uh, month two, and uh, as you guys can see, uh, it's getting pretty solid. My mustache is going really fast, faster than uh, normal or more than I thought would. So that's a pretty positive because, as you guys know, I'm trying to go for that epic mustache. And as you guys can see, I'm starting to get the twirl here. And as you guys can see, the sides are going good. Right here, the lines are, this is blending in well with here. So a nice good comb down. Everything's blending in. And just as I stated before, you guys can grow this out in stages. For me, for example, for work, I didn't want to go just all out um, because sometimes this, like for instance right here, this grows so fast. Um, and uh, when I just let it all grow out, this actually looks really unattractive. And remember I was talking about awkward stages. Well, actually my mustache is getting out of that awkward stage because I'm able to start to comb it and I, that mustache wax, the mustache wax. And the month after, I'll show you guys how I'm applying it and using it. Um, it's working really well to tame the mustache because right now, if I comb it over, I'm just getting in the middle of the lip right now of, of the comb over. I mean, if I really close both my lips, I can feel it just to touch here. And I, my goal is, is normal relax. I want it to overlap and touch um, my soul patch. And that way when I comb it out, it'll be nice and uh, a nice thick um, epic mustache. Um, this, like I was saying before, I shaved uh, every, my every day, so this is catching up. This part's catching up, and now this part's catching up. Um, so my awkward stage right now is right here to right here. But just wanted to encourage you guys to keep going. Um, my first two months was the mustache awkwardness because it was shooting out and it was very white trashy. Now I'm able to, you know, kind of comb it over. Now it's combing over my lip. It's super white trashy. But when I do the comb over to the side, do like the Tom Selleck or whatever it is. So now that another month is down, um, my next goal, because you guys have to have goals, and uh, that's something that I've learned to do, have goals. I've actually uh, downloaded a picture of kind of like what I wanted to look like or what I uh, am striving for to look like. 
but always have goals and my goal was for this to blend into this and I think it's doing a pretty good job it still has a little bit to go but remember uh, I was shaving this down so it has to grow to this point for it to blend in my next goal right now is for uh, this to blend into here and my next goal is actually, I, I want this to fill in this patch. I really want this to grow out because as you guys can see, I don't have a very strong point right here in my hair growth. But like I say, I usually shave this and square it up. And I've never really have let this grow, grow out before. Hopefully next month's video, this would be nice more an epic because if my mustache is growing pretty epic, I'm hoping this is growing uh, pretty uh, good too. Here we go next month, uh, month number four. Here we go. Oh, and there goes another month. Well, I hope you guys haven't been uh, cutting or trimming. And as you guys can see, just uh, another month goes by. Getting that mustache going. And uh, as you guys can see, the blending is doing really well down here. Finally got the official blend going uh, good from the uh, cheek to the chin. And all that I have left from my goals is I just want to fill in this patch here, right there. Um, so once that's done, I think I will be completing my beard journey and uh, I, I will definitely let my mustache uh, grow because um, that's the uh, that's the end result I just want to have a really nice epic mustache with a really good solid beard and as you guys can see I have that the neckline that's how far I want to grow down the beard so I just wanted to encourage you guys you know if you're watching the clip before the clip before wherever part you're on just keep going you know um, I've been getting a lot of flack the last month from that last transition to this month just from um, people saying like oh man you going barbaric you know you're going um, you know crawl on us or whatever you call it so um, just stick through it so this is my fourth month going in and um, each month gets better and better it just gets easier and easier and if you ever get like a a patch here if you have a patch here if you have a patch here just take your time you know just let it grow you know, a lot of uh, some of my coworkers are trying to grow theirs out, and it's funny that they're like, I can't do it. I have a patch right here. I have a patch right here. It doesn't grow strong. Well, grow it out. You you don't even know what it looks like when you grow it out, and there's a big patch. And with that being said, I want to uh, show you guys a cool trick that I've learned. Uh, uh, because right here I don't have a really strong spot so I've taken my mustache wax and uh, or pomade whatever you have that you use for a hair product that kind of you know makes it stay I don't recommend hairspray obviously but just a definite good pomade uh, when you're doing your mustache go ahead and put a little on your not so strong point and it'll kind of thicken up that hair and I'll let me buzz through it here really quick uh, da, 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 da. So uh, just I know there's tons of videos. Uh, there's all personal preference how you want to do it. I like going starting from the bottom. Sorry, I got like my little uh, camera here. I mean my uh, mirror here. So I like to go <clears throat> uh, from the bottom. Get all the uh, loose hairs that are going over, especially if you guys haven't been uh, trimming your mustache. I haven't touched my mustache one time, so if it's going over your lip, I like to just put it out of the way. See, I already have my natural like a part going on in there, so I'm just brushing it away. Kind of going up, whoop, whoop, and then I'll go down on the top, 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 top. Get your handy dandy mustache comb, and uh, I like that natural. Just go down. Sorry about that, you guys. Hopefully, it's not too bright for you. I gotta like, hold on here. And then I like just to do a down and over, a down and over. So just kind of like a natural way. Now I fully have, now I have fully gone over both lips, as you guys can see, if I straighten it down, it definitely covers both lips, and I'm getting a good solid, like, nice little thing there on the side, my little handlebars, but I'm not going for a full handlebar look, just want that nice meaty mustache. Now here's the trick, um, I like to put just, just a little bit right here. Like I said, yeah, it kind of thickened it up pretty well, just a little bit better. You know, it just puts a little bit more, um... So as you guys can see, just got like a little spot here that just doesn't go very strong, so I'm hoping that this soul patch will cover it. And that's my last goal. And remember, you guys, you gotta have goals and you gotta persevere. Alright, you guys, anyway, let's see what next month looks like, so here we go! Boom!
and another month goes by and as you guys can see and I'm hoping I can see you guys as well looking good on the mustache looking good on the beard and uh, we are uh, for me and it's my final month next month will be my six month journey of the beard and um, very happy satisfied and looks great um, I've achieved all my goals and um, I know I was showing uh, you guys before in the, the previous uh, months that I was having this little bit of a gap here and it's actually blending in really good especially over here on this side I just got this little patch right here I just want to fill in uh, but I think this is growing in really well and I think I got another month with this guy and if not another month after that I'm just I'm determining if I'm going to cut it off on January 1st and just shave it or trim it I don't know so I'm just thinking about ideas and speaking of trimming and whatnot. As you guys can see, I kind of have changed my hairstyle a little bit, and that was an accident that turned out great. My little kid was uh, taking a bath, and um, I was trimming up uh, on my sideburns here, kind of doing the the blend. And when I was going up on the sides, um, <laughs> she, she slipped or whatever, and I turned my head and. Zzz, and <laughs> I got a little close on uh, this side here, and uh, my wife kind of helped me out, but you know, I think that's the classic look that every guy's doing right now is the shave size, so I guess I was going along with it. And when I was telling you guys about, have a goal of what maybe you want to look like, um, and that's what I did. And remember, I'm totally going to be out there, and this is what I kind of am going for, and I think I have totally achieved it 100% in my mind. And that's what I think you guys need to do too, is once you achieve it, and you don't need to look 100% like it because if you go for that you're never gonna achieve anything you have to have your own style you have to have your own look because if you try to aspire to be like someone else you're never gonna be happy with yourself you're never gonna be happy with anything that you do you have to be your own you have to do your own so I'm totally gonna put myself out there this was my goal of what I just the style that I was going for so here we go uh, so I really like the mustache, the cut, and that's kind of how it turned out. I kind of trimmed it up on accident. That turned out good. So remember I was talking to you guys about not growing it out all at once, and, and you guys can do it in a phase. And when I meant like that, I remember I was telling you guys that this was growing here to here and here to here. Well, when I was trimming up on my sides, I kind of went a little too far down because see how it's a little square, and when I was... My last video was a little more round. Well, I was kind of trimming up, and I kind of went a little too deep. And I'm, I'm okay with it, but like I say, now all I have to do is just grow this section out. Probably may take a month or two, but that's okay. So a coworker of mine asked me why I don't shave my neck. And there is a good point. When it's a little fluffed up, it's not the most attractive thing in the world. But when you're growing out your beard, and my next month I'll show you guys, and you guys can almost see it. You guys see how this is almost to that neckline that I'm starting right here. So when I look down, it's meeting the neck. And when you do that, it makes it look so much more fuller. So when you have the chin and the neck, it makes it really nice and thick. But when you just do the under chin, um, you know, it's more loose and you can play with it a little bit more um, and it's just not as thick. But I just, I think, and plus, if you guys can see from the side, look how much more broad my, my beard looks from the side. Whereas in, if it was just here, it'd be a little more clean, but it wouldn't be as broad. See how much more broad it looks? So that's just a, a I don't know if you want to call it a tip or uh, just some speculation I've gone through. And the last thing um, on this month I wanted to tip you guys is change your style. If you're doing something and you know, you're not used to it, it's okay to step out of your comfort zone, you know, and and try something new you know as long as you're not cutting too much of the beard off and working up on here you know that's why I really like the clippers on the sides because um, you can change a lot up here to make this look a lot fuller down here so try that and uh, those are some other tips that I was you know going through on my beard and uh, the last thing is the mustache you guys I am just about done with the mustache like I say so next month uh, if I do decide to grow out the beard even longer, um, I'm going to start kind of trimming up and tightening up the mustache because this is about as epic as I want it to be. Uh, it looks really good. Um, you know, you can go nice and uh, on it. And, and then, so I got one more month. Next month is going to be my final month for this 
whole series right here of this one giant, hopefully it's under 15 minute video. Next month's video, um, and the last one. Here we go. Whoa! And the final month went by. And as you guys can tell, the beard and mustache have grown in perfectly. Um, I love the relaxed, laid down mustache look. Um, the beard, especially with the neck, uh, it just it's kind of come into just a nice one full thick uh, beard. Uh, as I showed you guys in the previous clip, how awesome it looks. Just nice and meaty. And as you guys saw from uh, the previous clips that you know I had patches or rough spots and for instance here's a great example this grew back uh, very well and that only took about a month and that's one benefit thing of growing out the beard is ah, you cut thing off here it's too short now you grow it back the next month oh, you mess up there or you try something out you don't like it and you grow it back and like from the previous month, um, you know, I changed my hairstyle up a little bit. Well, I tried it and I didn't like it, so I kind of went back to my old school faux hawk, whatever you want to call it. So one of the best parts about growing out the beard and the mustache is you get a little bit of a fan base. And so uh, a lot of your friends and your family, they like to, uh, um, like, oh, you know, you look good with the beard, it looks good with the mustache, and uh, it's, 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 it's really fun. And it's definitely more motivation to keep it and uh, stick with it. Uh, and that's, I think that's the last thing I've been saying it all through um, this whole entire video is uh, just stick with it you guys. It's super fun and there's no reason not to grow out the beard and the mustache. So even if you got to trim it up or you know style it different for work, just like I went through from the very beginning, is that I kept it clean the whole way through. So I'm doing this video because I haven't seen anybody else going from start to finish growing out the beard. Uh, I've seen time lapses and um, you know different uh, different videos of just maybe someone already having the beard and telling you about how the experience was but I've never seen someone going from start to finish and especially for the uh, style of the epic mustache and the epic beard because that's a great style and I think that's what everybody should go for uh, when they're growing it out and like I said you can trim the neck you can grow the neck out you can you know trim the lip keep the handlebars out it's all different styles and it's all different um, uh, different ways of how you want to you know look and that's the best thing just with our hair and our body and how we look in society and that's one thing you know if you're never gonna be able to get out of your comfort zone you're never gonna know what you're gonna look like in that kind of style so like I said before there were some rough moments there were some rough months that uh, weren't the best for me or weren't the strongest you know that I look but you know, you just persevere and you keep going. Well, thanks very much, you guys, for sticking along. Uh, I know this is probably one of the longest videos I'm going to post on my channel. And um, especially for you guys that are starting out, uh, stick through it. It's super fun. Uh, you'll definitely thank me uh, in the end. So uh, like, subscribe, smash that like button, you guys, because this is a kick-ass beard video. Um, have a good one. I will see you guys in the New Year's. See ya.